All right, you guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. This week's, we're not gonna do an install, we're gonna do a product review. So SeaTech Canada sent us out the MUS 4.3 test and charge. Let's open the box and let's find out together. Let's go. All right, you guys, so the MUS 4.3 test and charge is pretty much the MXS 5.0 SeaTech charger that's been around for quite a long time. It's pretty much this one with the add feature of the test and charge. So yeah, let's set this aside, guys. MUS 4.3, test and charge. Let's open this box. Let's see what's inside. You get the C-Tech pouch, just as usual. Charger itself. You get the eyelets, which is right here. This is so you conveniently just plug it into your battery and just when you need to charge it, you just, or maintain it, you just plug it into here. Comes with almost every C-Tech battery charger. And then you got your manual. Nice heavy duty C-Tech clamps. And then the charger itself. So the added features are pretty much the uh, battery test and charge and alternator. Just like any other C-Tech battery charger or maintainer. It has the uh, gold, this one's gold. Uh, the only thing that this one can do is pretty much, uh, it does not maintain and charge lithium batteries, but everything else it can do. So let's get right into it. Let's test this bad boy out. All right guys, so I have my friend Jay's car here. He, that's in the shop right now. We're working on it for him right now. Uh, it's a 2012, no, 2015 Evil 10. It's pretty sick. You guys might have seen it on the channel a few times. It is. It was red, wrapped in red, and now it's back to its original color. I figured this. What better way to test this? A new C Tech charger out on his car because his car has the original battery. It's pretty kaput. It's like it's dead, dead. It's yeah, it's dead, dead. So, what better way to test it out? So let me go get the charger and uh, let's test out his battery. You see how how good this thing is. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. So the positive to positive, negative, oh, we'll just find a negative terminal here somewhere. Usually I plug it into this one and it works, but Okay, so once you plug it in, the three the three lights are like flashing. It just basically asking us what do we want to do. So we press the mode button. We want to test the battery. So now it's gonna see. So it shows the the uh, battery is in the red. So basically the battery is no good, which is not a big surprise. So it's pretty accurate. Red means that it's below 9.6 volts. And in if it's in the amber, it will be in between 9.6 to 10.5 volts. And then if it's in the green, it's above 10.5 volts, which is really good. Well, most cars will be in the 13 volts. So anything above 10, 10 and a half means it's good. So Jay's battery is toast, which like I said, no surprise. So the next test we're going to do is basically the uh, uh, starting power to see how good his car starts. But it's, the battery's dead, so I don't know if it's going to start at all, guys. So right now it's, it lights up green, uh, basically allowing us to go ahead and uh, start the test. So it's, it's not going to be no big surprise because the battery's total. What this test does is testing the, how much cranking power the uh, battery has and the alternator. But uh, yeah, I'll, it's gonna be no big surprise. Okay, this thing is, the battery is dead. So it should, it should light up red. Yeah, there you go. So no surprise, lights up red, meaning something's wrong, uh, something's below uh, voltage. And which is in our, our case here, it is the uh, the battery in Jay's car, which is toast. So, so for us to continue on to the next test, we need a good battery. So we got this battery from uh, Gerald at Envision Auto Imports, just for one of his old batteries that he's just kicking around. So let's just see if it's uh, if it's good, 
before we go into the next because if it's no good battery just the test is no good um the battery just kaput too so let's uh go ahead and test it out comes in handy eh? okay let's go to the next mode test the battery see if it's good so it's that is red so we shouldn't even bother trying this car this battery here so so that kind of saved us some time before we threw it into the uh into Jay's car here, so let's not use this battery. So we got Jay's car started. Um, what we're going to test is the alternator uh, voltage, see how, how good the alternator is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select that alternator test. And now it says it's good. So his alternator is good. So his battery is not good for a long time now, and it's uh, he's been running on the uh, uh, a dead battery, so the alternator is working overtime. So I had a kind of feeling that his, uh, he was making his alternator work overtime because he's always charging the battery because the battery is not hard holding the charge. I'm kind of glad that it's it's in the green. So let me just turn off the car and uh, we'll talk more about it. So if any of you guys are familiar with the uh, Evil 10s, uh, the battery is located in the back for weight distribution and a lot of times it's hard to get to the battery. Uh, so I asked Jay how good is his battery before I uh, did this test because I knew it was, it was kind of weak, but he wasn't 100% sure. So courtesy of SeaTac Canada, they gave us a uh, comfort indicator panel. Um, also, what I'm going to do is they gave it to me, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to Jay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it on the back of his car just to show so that he can see if his battery is good or not. So I'm going to go ahead and install that and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's go, come on. As you can see, Jay's already a avid C-Tech user here. He has one of these so that he can plug in his uh, maintainer over the winter. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. See, these are, these are handy, but these are better. See, now, I'll just tuck this in there somewhere nicely. So now he just looks, you can see, let me just turn off this light here. There, so it's flashing red. Pretty, pretty convenient. It's flashing red now, it's pretty much saying, your battery's kaput. So next time I ask Jay, hey, how's your battery? At least now he can tell me it's no good, so. Thank you, SeaTech Canada. So the other nice thing about the SeaTech uh, comfort panel here is just when he needs to charge the battery or maintain it over the winter, it just you can just plug it into the air and uh, go ahead and charge it right away. It's convenient. Here we go. Now Jay's all happy now. Okay, so let's let's talk about the charging, you guys. So the MUS 4.3 test and charge is pretty much the uh, MXS 5.0 but just with all the extra features. So if you're in the market for a battery maintainer charger, I would get this one because it just has that extra feature that you never know when you need it, especially in Jay's, like for example, Jay's car. I kind of knew it was the battery, but I wasn't hundred percent sure if his alternator was kind of like low or weak uh, because he's been running on this old battery for a long time. And I know it's, he's been putting that alternator to work over time and eventually it will give so hopefully uh, he takes the advice from C-Tech to go and get a new battery I know it's that's his original battery he doesn't want to give it up but eventually he will end up giving up the alternator just uh, uh, yeah so if you're in the market I would get this this one the MUS 4.3 test and charge over the MX S 5.0 just because of the added features. It's identical, everything's identical. It just, yeah, get this one, you guys. Uh, the only thing I would love to see C-Tech come out with is a digital display. I mean, maybe it's not rugged enough for them, but at least instead of giving us an average using lights to tell us uh, what percentage of voltage or whatever that it falls in, I would love to see it right on the display here, telling us if it's red and it's, below nine or even an accurate number it would be would be awesome so c-tech please give us the reason why you don't give us that or maybe you have a specific reason the only thing i think is it's not rugged enough and maybe more gadgets and gadgets meaning more prone to problems and 
this is a proven, tried and proven uh, product that has never failed. All the ones that I have have never failed, you guys. All right, so if you guys are in the market for a new charger or battery maintainer, you guys are in luck. I partner up with smartchargers.com and smartchargerscanada.ca. They have graciously gave me a promo code, full throttle, to enjoy 10%. 10% off the MUS 4.3. This, this is the charger to go for you guys, if you guys are looking for it. But unless you're looking for a uh, lithium battery or you have a lithium battery, then this won't work for you. You can still do the test, but you won't be able to do the charger. And I want to say a big thanks to smartchargers.com and especially smartchargerscanada.ca for sending us these products to review. And also thanks, Jay, for lending us your car for being the test mule. Yeah, thank you again. But as always on my channel, this was given to me to get tested and I'm going to give it to one of you guys. First person to comment, I would love to have this charger. It is yours. The only thing you have to do is basically be subscribed to the channel, subscribe to C-Tech on their Instagram, and of course, full throttle. So that's all you have to do. I will be checking. So the first person that says it, this will be yours to have. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. We'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Yours, uh, you'll miss out on giveaways like this. Right. Thank you, C-Tech Canada. See you guys in the next week's vlog. Yeah. Uh...